What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio One's Tutorials and pick up a copy of These Drums Slap Volume 2. They're the drums used in this tutorial's beat. Also, don't forget to get your premium membership. It's 50 cents a day and it is the only place to get the MIDI files for this tutorial. Now, today we're going to be looking at Looperator. This is part two of our Looperator series. We're going to be using it um, to affect the melody of this track, you know, when we're arranging simple track beats that have already been ran through Gross Beat and Halftime, sometimes we got to go deep in our bag for different type of effects, and Looperator is a fantastic plugin for this application. <laughs> So, um, you know, in a beat like this and a lot of a lot of like more darker, straightforward, aggressive trap beats, you're going to run into um, the issue with is especially like when you're trying to reverse engineer like an FL studio workflow. The reason why they have so many tracks, um, you know, that are popular is because, you know, people lean heavily onto gross beat and gross beat has this this ridiculous limitation where it only, um, you know, when you're working in double time, it only winds up looping one bar of audio. So you have a lot of one bar loops and um, that's kind of become a vibe now in in the genre. So in order to, you know, in order to keep things interesting, thing you have to you know you have to add different um arrangement techniques um uh, as as far as like having different you know ha having different drums um type of arrangements and on top of that doing stuff to your melody now the reason why i um have you guys learn this template first and if you guys haven't seen my template tutorial go to my channel go to the beginner um, go to the beginner playlist and watch the template tutorial because I'm not teaching you guys how to do this 19 times. So the reason why I have the, uh, the reason why I have these buses laid out, um, is so that we can, is so that we can do stuff like that. Right. So I have, I have what's called the band bus and the band bus works in the idea here is that, you know, I have, I have a channel with only drums and all the drum sounds are routed to one mixer channel. And then I have a band bus where all of everything that's not you know drums right everything is not drums is routed to this band bus okay and the reason why i do that is because now i can take an effect like looperator and use it to you know use it to to chop up the melody but it won't have any effect on the drums and that is um th that is very useful when you're trying to make different type of arrangements so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go into um I don't know. Let's let's see what let's see what we got for some for some reversing type of uh type of presets inside of Looperator. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
let's go let's go to a section of the song that I want to be different like after after the first after the first hook I want some I want like a little dramatic difference here right? What I do is I'll go in here and I'll right click on this bypass button so I could edit the bypass automation because I only want this to occur um, during this part. Right, because we already got we've already got halftime on the melody, so we're not gonna halftime the halftime, right? We gotta go, we gotta do, we gotta go into another bag, all right? Um, so now we'll go from we'll go from this hook section. just right there you could hear the dramatic change and that's you know that's that's something that a lot of people ask about is how to go about you know after you make your verse a b c um you know and then you come back for your second for, for your second verse how do you make you know a big a big different uh defining stance and going through loop radio will do stuff like that and again you see how many presets there are um you know you could go through them change them amend them do as you wish it's a really easy uh thing to get up and going with and it's really easy to customize it so um yeah just 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 keep that in mind um you know use automate it in a way so that so that it turns off and it turns off it turns on in different four bar sections um and it is really an amazing tool to adding you know simple um and sometimes drastic variations to the actual track so it's a cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials .com. um if you guys need the midi for this tutorial it is at studio one tutorials .com for premium members keep it simple but do not be basic and we will see you on the next one